and welcome to another Book video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. And today I'm trying something a bit new. So, my bookshelves are behind me, you can see them. I've also got a bookshelf on in my room um, where I put new releases or books that I'm due to haul. Um, I've also got a little Christmas book um, shelf that I'm collating for books that I want to read in Christmas or books that I want to mention on my beautiful books gift guide when it comes to that, but less about that and more about what's happening now. Um, and I've also got a bookshelf in my bathroom which has got books that, have, uh, that are under 150 pages, just in case you want to pick one up while you're having a wee or a poo or a bath. Now. My bookshelves are beginning to run out of room. Now, they, I've got quite a big set of bookshelves behind me, but I am beginning to run out of room, and this sort of thing's happening, where I'm putting books upon books, which isn't the greatest and is precarious, and also, um, it just doesn't look the bestest. So what I thought I would do today is I thought I would live go through my bookshelves and find books that I'm never going to read and therefore can get rid of. Um, now what I do when I get rid of books, I work in a diabetes centre at a hospital um, and we have a book, uh, book, bookshelf there um, where people can buy books and then the money that they give goes back into it goes to Diabetes UK which is a diabetes um, charity here in the UK. So I will take those there um, and they will then be changed into money for charity, which is quite nice. So I'm gonna go, this is, I've never done this before. I haven't really planned it. All I've basically thought is, need to get rid of books. I'm, I'm telling myself I want to get rid of at least 10, but I don't want this video to go on forever and ever and ever. <laughs> so I think I'll just go for it and show you what I've got and just, just, just see how much we can go. But yeah, these are books and I'm gonna be telling you the reasons I'm gonna be getting rid of them and etc. So I'm gonna move my chair and get on with it. Oh, this chair is so heavy and David's not here to help me move it. No, I need to move you. So welcome to Toolland. Um, these bookshelves here are my favourites books, so I won't be getting rid of any of the favourites books there. And these are my Harry Potter books. Oh God, look, it's a bit of a mess up there actually. I need to have a sort out, but the rest is done by colour. I don't know, I'm so worn out. Um, the rest is done by colour and I'm gonna go and have a little work, work through now and maybe pick a few at a time. Ooh. Okay, so I've got three so far. Um, the first one is a massive book, uh, A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Now this is a big divis divisive book on booktube. Um, I haven't read this. Um, it's massive. My friend Alex got it in here. For my friend Alex's 30th birthday, we bought him a Willoughby um, book club book subscription. This was the second or third book he got. Um, I think he quite enjoyed it. Um, he lent it. To, he said to me afterwards, I'm never going to read it again. So um, if you want to read it, then please have it. And um, if, if not, don't worry. So I'm going to check with Alex that he doesn't want this back um but if not that's going to go because i just I, from what i've heard about it, it doesn't sound like it's a book for me and it's massive and i'm not prepared to dedicate that amount of time to a book that potentially isn't for me uh, the next one i've got is a book that i have recently listened to the audiobook of and this book belongs to my cousin laura and um, so i'm going to return that to her and that is oranges are not the only fruit by jeanette winterson i listened to the audiobook of this so there's no reason for that to continue to be on my shelves because i've listened to it now um, and then uh, the last book i've got is um, a book that i'm going to give to somebody I know who I work with because I feel like this this sounds just for her and I don't feel like it's something that I'm ever going to get around to reading. Um, I got a selection of these books from Simon when I went up to stay with him uh, this year or last year, I can't even remember. They're um, translated fiction. This is translated from Ducks. Dutch and this is The Woman Who Fed the Dogs by Christian Hemerex um, and this is about a woman called Adette who's in jail and she's the most hated woman in Belgium um, and she is the um, she is in jail for being the accomplice in a horrifying crime she was dragged into by her husband. Who is this woman? Why does she never stop him? Does she deserve a second chance or is she an unscrupulous monster? Um, when I read it I think oh yeah maybe I would like that but honestly I, th there is somebody I know at work who would love this so I'm going to give that to the woman at work. Back to it guys. got a few more here um the, i've had to go down to my bottom shelf so this is a um a graphic novel that um i saw reviewed on quite a few people's channels when i first started booktube um and i really wanted to read it and eleanor from eleanor reads books 
Hi, Eleanor. I'm seeing Eleanor this weekend. That's exciting. Um, she kindly said that she had a copy and she didn't really get on that well with it. Um, and would I like a copy of it? And I said, yes, please. So I read it and I enjoyed reading it. But it's done nothing but sit at the bottom of my um, of my shelves since then. So, And I don't feel like this is something that I'll go back and reread. So my sister is a secondary school teacher and she has a library um, of books that she either buys herself or um, gets money given to her very rarely from the school to buy books. Um, books for and I feel like this would probably fit quite well in a YA um, library. It is a book about um, a young girl and her fears and this is the illustrations and then her fears are um, represented by shark drawings which are really like really really in depth and quite graphic and I feel like that would fit in, in depth and graphic fitting quite well in a YA library. I feel like that will go very well. It will go to a good home there and I imagine um, uh, may well not have heard of that book before so that's exciting the next two are also YA books that I'll be sending along to that library um, and that is um, a, se a series of Francis Hardinge books so I bought this one The Lie Tree um, by Francis Hardinge this is a um, I don't, do you know what I bought it because I was just excited by it and then I've never even picked it up and then the publisher kindly sent me the second one which I also haven't put, uh, picked up and I just I hate to think of them sitting on my shelves just not being read when there is a, um, a children's library that I could be donated to that um, uh, teenagers, uh, teenage girls and boys will be reading. So they're going there as well. Um, and then I've got Forever in a Day by Anthony Horowitz. This is um, a new James Bond novel. Um, this is um, st sort of based around some original material from Ian Fleming. Um, I got sent this from the publisher and since then I've sort of had thoughts where, like, I mean, James Bond not very feminist is it so um i just don't feel like i'm ever going to get around to reading this i will check with david that he doesn't want to read this um before i send it upon its merry way to the diabetes center um but otherwise um yeah that's going to go as well um and then um this is one that i this is a proof copy i picked up from a second hand bookshop um that um i was going i was planning on reading um, and i've just never got around to it and i just can't see myself being that bothered about picking it up i don't feel like i've remembered much about it it was it was shortlisted for something maybe the women's prize i think maybe not even this year maybe last year it was shortlisted for um a prize and i was like oh if that gets or long listed if it gets on the shortlist i'll read it or if it wins i'll read it and it didn't win and um yeah i just don't think i'm going to read that so i will also send that along to the diabetes center let's how many have i got now two four six eight i need at least two more i'm going to get back to it and I've got my last two. So the last two are both paperbacks. Um, one that I bought myself many years ago and still haven't read and one that uh, Simon gave to me. So the first one is The Improbability of Love by Hannah Rothschild. This was shortlisted for the Women's Prize. When I first started Booktube, I bought it thinking, oh, I'll definitely get around to reading that. I have not definitely got around to reading that. It hasn't even crossed my mind to read it of late. So yeah, it's just, um, I'm gonna send that to work um, to be sold on. And then the other one is a similar book in that um, I, I, it hasn't crossed my mind to read it and I just don't ever think I'll get around to it. And that is The Other Mrs. Walker, a detective story with no detective by Mary Paulson Ellis. Um, and I'm gonna send that to work because there will be people that would like to read those books rather than them just sit on my chairs. Uh, my chairs? <laughs> no one's sitting on the chairs. I'll be sitting on a chair in a minute on my shelves. So those are some books that I have on my shelves. I'm gonna get them now. So this pile is going to work to be sold um, and uh, I think they do £1 for hardbacks and 50p for um, paperbacks so that's very good, all money going to Diabetes UK so that's wonderful. Uh, this one is going back to my cousin Laura because I've listened to the audiobook of it and then these last three are going to be in the uh, my sister's uh, classroom library um, and um, I feel very excited about that. She says whenever there's new books there, they always get so excited. So I feel excited that I'm giving three books um, to that library. So those are some books that were on my shelves that I didn't think I was ever gonna read. So I've got rid of them, I've cleansed myself. Um, let me know if you've got books on your shelf um, that you will never ever read. I'd be very, very interested. Um, this is something I might do a bit seasonally as I said like I just needed to tidy up and neaten up a bit um I need to have a good old tidy up there anyway maybe that's something I'll do now I've moved my chair um but yeah so that's it from me and I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video goodbye